Hello, this is Gary Oakes, and here's an overview for the sparkling theme for WordPress. This is the free version. So let's have a look at some of its functionality. We have a logo at the top left. We have some a primary menu bar with some sub menus, a slider. We have an action button, and then the home page itself with some text and some images. And towards the bottom, I've added a video. The home page also has three widget areas, which are shown here. These are the header widget areas and three footer widget areas as well. We have a footer menu and a place to put your company information. If we go to a page now to see what that looks like, we go to the resources page. And this has been tailored to have a right hand sidebar. This is an option and obviously content within the page itself. And I've just added a couple of images. The blog. It has excerpts, so it has an image and an excerpt of the post itself. If you click on the, the image or the title, it will take you to the full post, as shown here. I've added a right-hand sidebar for both of these. Again, that's optional as you set these up. And towards the bottom, there is something about the author, which is really useful for this particular theme. And I should add, this does have a sticky menu. As you can see at the top there, it stays as you scroll up and down. Right, so how do we customize this theme? we go now to the dashboard of WordPress and we go to appearance and customize and we have the opportunity to customize the theme to our liking so there's an item on support and documentation if we go to sparkling option there are a load of op options here we've got this slider option the layout options the action button this is the the thing underneath the slider there you can see so you can tailor the action button which is really useful. Topography, again, some information about your fonts and colors, the header itself. You can change the appearance of this and the colors, etc. The footer, how you would like that to look. Social, I'm not too sure how this works. Other, this is custom CSS, and towards the bottom, the content options. So beyond that, we have the site identity, minimal information here, colors, just the one option, header image. So this is the image you can see at the top left. You can add one in, that's where you add it in. Background image, I've got the one here, which is fixed. Menus, we have three menu buttons. We have the primary, the footer, and the social menus. But again, I just didn't quite understand how to use the social menus on this one. A bit more time I probably would. Widgets, we have three for the home page, as I was explaining earlier, and three for the footer. And you can tailor these as you so wish through the widget area. And then static front page, which is standard functionality. There doesn't appear to be a pro version. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. See you on the next one. Bye for now.